I'm LB, and we are back playing more, uh, Glitch Space. It's a rather disappointing game, with, so far, very, very easy puzzles, despite constantly introducing new ideas. We keep getting introduced to new concepts, and the difficulty is not increasing at all, so... I guess we'll see what happens from this point onward. What's changed now? Hey! I got my 90 back! Yes. They took away that ply force, but did they also take away... No! They took away my imply force! Ah, uh, No more portable trampoline. But we have multiply! Do we have... Nope, we can't even use- we can't even use these big numbers for anything useful. All we can do is multiply. Right, well. Okay then. So much for having our 90 back. What's going on here? Why is there so much walking around? There's an unnecessarily large amount of walking around in this game, I'm telling ya. Why do we have a choice of where we can go? Oh, so as long as I look at it, I can walk past it? Okay. And what was the point of the other direction here? Oh, is this just teaching you about... Oh, come on! Fine. At least it put me back on this side. Okay, that just applies 50. And I can't edit it, right? Yeah, it's completely locked. Right, what about this one? That's another one. What is even the point of making me do these simple jumps? You know I can do simple jumps! There's no reason try and challenge me with simple jumps, and I'm not going to suddenly forget how to do simple jumps and need to solve that puzzle ever again. Alright, we need cuboids. At least five. Greater than five, actually, so we need six. Let's see here. Create physics cuboid. Okay, well, what does this one do? This one creates physics cuboids. But only my curse is over it. Come on, now. Alright, well. That was this entire area, huh? I didn't even need to do anything with the stuff you gave me? What- why did you even give me anything? Whatever. I'm so confused about the design of this game. How- I don't understand how somebody could make this game and think that it's alright in this state. That's what confuses me. I mean, like, I know at some point you- you just get fed up with working on it and you just want to release it, but still. That looks particularly close, or particularly giant. Particularly giant, I must say. Alright, what do we got now? No 90, but we got 50. Can we multiply? Yeah! Yeah! Apply force! Yeah! <laughs> oh, you have made a mistake! You have made a big mistake. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness! Where am I? Oh, I think I might be going back down now, the screen's changing color slightly. Uh... Huh. 
So, how's your life been? Anything interesting happen? My life's been pretty great. I've just been finishing up college, you know, taking a couple classes to finish up a degree, and then, uh, who knows where I'll go after that. That was weird, why did it- <laughs> The game crashed! A crash of Portal Learning! 2017 10 15 one nine four 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 next to game executable. It would be great if you'd send it to the developer of the game. Gee, I wonder why it crashed. <laughs> oh man, let's uh, let's get back into it, I suppose. Well, <laughs> huh? I wonder why it crashed. Does anybody have any idea why the game might have crashed? Because I sure don't know. No, really, actually, I don't understand why it crashed. That's kind of a weird reason for a game to crash, don't you think? Well... All I know... is that you've made a mistake, and I'm going to exploit that. So let's see... Ten... Multiply... Y direction. Apply force. Yes, I am all powerful. I bet I could launch myself there. Oops. Where have I landed? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I fell through a slit in the ceiling? Ah, uh, nothing a portable trampoline can't solve. With some effort. Oh, come on, that was so close, and you know it. There we go. Stupid ceiling slits. So, let's figure out what direction that's in. That is in... Oh, that's in a negative direction, so I can't even go there. Well, that's disappointing. Oh well, portable trampoline, that's all we need from ya. So, where exactly am I need to go for... in order to get out of here? We need an impact force greater than 50. And the cursor has to be over it. Well, that's pretty simple, right? I've already got an impact force greater than 50 from just falling. Did I not? Well, it's easy enough. Well, it worked that time for some reason, who knows why. direction is that? That is in the negative x direction. Well, I'm sure we can still figure out a way to totally botch it. In fact, all these directions are bad for us. Oh, this is when just I have to look at it. Okay. That answers that problem. Holy crap! What is that, just decorative? Must be. Oh, we need a cuboid collision count, huh? Wait a sec. Oh, stretch object, okay.
Or... I could act like a normal person. And any reasonable person in this situation would do the same thing. You know. Cause who needs... who needs cuboids? They lag the game. By... by simply existing. Alright, well. Interesting. I still got all my magic. So who knows what this stuff's for? I'm not using it. I'm not entirely sure what they were thinking by giving me the ability to just skip everything. <laughs> like, did they want me to solve puzzles or did they want me to have fun? Oh crap. <laughs> Excellent respawn point. Alright, where do we need to go? Cause, uh, I have gone places. You would not believe. Over there? Is that it? Over there, huh? What was over here that we passed over? What did we skip? Eh, didn't skip anything in particularly important. Wait, what? I don't even understand what that does. Eh, whatever. Five objects. Wait, you mean like... Wait. <laughs> I have stuff I'm not supposed to have because they didn't clear it. Oh, man. But they still gave me multiply. What's going on here? Find objects. What does that even mean? Ah, whatever. Let's just go back and see if I can un un ahead of myself myself or something. I hate that it undoes this every single time. Also, this is totally bugged out now. Multiply. There we go. Your personal keyboard always has an object ID of zero. Okay, that makes sense now. Huh? What is going on here? None of this makes any sense. Right, fine, we'll just go through it the normal way. Can't edit that. Oh, I can edit this, apparently.
What am I supposed to do, though? And they cleared my code. Don't have 90. I do have multiply. That's fine. Create physics cube... Yeah, they took away all the fun stuff, basically. Huh. What does this even mean? Outputs number ID of the inputted object. Where do I get that from? Apparently that's not something I get. Find objects. They have collision. Physics. Object is solid. Um... Great physics cube? What do you want from me, game? I'm giving you objects to find. Um... I can edit this, but... why? Like, I can't change any of that. Why can I edit this? Let's, let's just start over, because I think I might have broken this somehow. Might have skipped an important trigger. Okay, there's a stupid input. Okay, I see. Can't edit this. Can't edit this either. <laughs> what have you given me? Nothing useful. Well, I'm screwed. Yep, I'm basically screwed. How do I do this? Huh? That doesn't move it down nearly enough. I can't change that. What the heck? Did I miss something? Am... Am I supposed to be able to have something that I don't have? Did I break the game? I'll just refresh my abilities? No... What am I supposed to do? I really don't understand what I'm doing. I can't edit either of these things. There's no way I can get up to that.
Oh, that is not at all clear from looking at the code. Oh, come on. That shouldn't count as out of bounds. Stop doing that, please. Oh, come on! Why are they disappearing now? What? I don't understand. This makes no sense. These cubes just disappear and appear at will. There. <laughs> Take that. There. <laughs> no idea. Your personal cuboid always has an object ID of zero, huh? Right, I didn't see this stupid input here. What do you mean, don't have collision? Of course I have collision. Okay, do you want five, then? This doesn't have collision, so I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, it says has collision is false. Whatever. This game is weird, the way the, the coding works. It doesn't make any sense. Like... If it's... Okay, so here's what I think is happening. So, because this is false, it's no longer passing a value through, which means it's no longer even changing the state of this, so whatever state it had last, that's what it's taking. Which is a really dumb way to do it, but that's the way it works, I guess. I don't agree with it, but that's how it works. What is all this? Uh, sure, why not. Goodbye, physics cubes! You won't be remembered. Alright, so let's head down these stairs. I don't know why we want to head down these stairs, but we're heading down these stairs. This Trevor applies force to me. I'm not sure why, though. What's the point? Why would I ever go there? Can't do any of that. Can't move it or anything. Can't change any of this because it's all locked down. I just want to get over there, right? What? I don't understand. I'm so confused about what the what is going on here. How do I move this down? to create physics cubes. I mean, I guess it's sort of doing that, but... not in any useful manner. Wait a second...
Wait, my personal- Okay, then. Let's see here. I understand now. She's kind of bit obtuse, let's see, uh... Great for this keyboard. Why can I not center this the way I want to? There we go, that'll work. Whee! There we go. So it's- it, the, the velocity, the forward momentum velocity of that is based on how many things are touching my personal cuboid. Oh, fade to black? Uh, where is... this? Wait, we've been here before, haven't we? Yeah, this is the other area that I wanted to find a way into. I could have technically gotten into here if I wanted to, but it probably would have been nothing. Yeah, because we went this direction before. This is the direction we went last time. What is that direction? What about this direction? Oh yeah, this is the direction that there's nothing there. Is this like an... Is this like a hub area that I'm not even paying attention to? What all do we have? Input? Oh. Uh... Oh, that's, uh, no. What does input go to again? Oh, those are new as well. Three? They give me three now. Well... I still can't apply force, so... This is still... not very fun. <laughs> Let's see here... This is five. There we go. Let's create some physics cubes. And maybe we can open this door. There we go. That was it for this. Really? That was everything for that? Frame rate's still all over the place, though. Lowest graphic settings, very minimalist art style, frame rate is terrible. And yet other- other games that do much, much more rendering than this run so much better. What did you do to make this game render so poorly? Apparently these are just lights and not a namespace. What am I supposed to do here? Can't even rotate it, huh? Although, what am I supposed to do here? I 
Oh, what does this thing do? Oh, we've got waves now, sine waves. It's all locked down. Its ID number is 4. Why do I need to know its ID number? Can I manipulate it? Indirectly? work, shouldn't it? Now it's ID number four? What? When did that happen? What? Why did its ID number change to four? There, now it's finally solid. Oh my gosh. Come on, have that happen, please. Now this is an utter nightmare to try and get through. How am I supposed to get through this? Can I get it to stop moving? Is there a thing I can do? Maybe you need to go closer? Come on! Come on! How- how precise do I have to be here? What?! I was behind it the whole time. Come on, what is happening right now? What the heck is hitting me? I don't understand. What? What am I doing wrong? So confused right now. What? I don't. I don't understand. Okay, now it works. I just have to be really, really close to the right side? How does that make any sense? Whatever. Whatever. How many more easy puzzles is this game gonna give us before it decides we can take a challenge? Come on. Is there gonna be stupid timing puzzles now? Oh, and now it quicksaved me here. Because of course it did. Why wouldn't it have?
So now I just have to wait for the stars to align. Like that, I guess. These- these quick saves really get on my nerves. Or, well, the way it detects what's safe and what isn't. What did I get now? Why doesn't it just- why doesn't it just tell me these things? I wish it would just tell me, so that I wouldn't have to go around checking every single thing. As you can tell, I'm very frustrated, because this game... ...makes no effort at all. Oh, we've got 90, we've got all the numbers. Can't apply force, though. We can rotate the object... ...and that's about it. Oh, that's weird. Why does that happen? How am I supposed to go all the way up to there? Does this count as an impact? I don't think so. Guess we can rotate it. Um... By 90. In the... X direction. That's actually not... not too helpful, to be honest. Why does he keep teleporting me to the center? It doesn't make any sense. Can I do anything else? Not really. Not seeing it. Will this even work? Wow, that's that's frightening. What the heck is happening? What if... Cursor over... Goes to... Why is it not working? Oh. What? What? Well, now it's doing that. It just reset me first. Somehow that works. Don't ask me how. It just works, somehow. <laughs> I really don't understand how that happened. 
this is something we can shove in a cranny. Oh my gosh, why did you move everything on me? Right, okay. Let's rotate it the other axis around Z. There, will that work? Maybe? Apparently that works. Thank goodness. Right, well, this episode went on way longer than I intended it to, so... As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!